I can create a check right from here too. Like for example, a system automatically knows what would be the next check number. Maybe you don't want to start from here. Maybe you would like to start from 5,000 and generate two more checks and click OK. You have complete freedom to do so. Therefore, there are some missing checks here. Now let's create a check again and the system automatically sees the last number. But again, that would be something that the end user should identify like from 4018 let's go ahead and generate 20 checks see what's going to happen system automatically generates a bunch of checks so you can carry on and have as many as checks as you want as soon as there is no conflict system allows you to create it otherwise it just stops at that moment why do we have to identify these checks because the system should know is a fixed check and you have available checks to be able to cut if you don't have it then you won't be able to use that check number whereas if i go to my second bank which happens to be the payroll i can go to the setup and take a look at the check and actually happens that i keep this as free and in this scenario the check number is irrelevant because I can set up any check numbers the way I want so I don't have to set that up at all however either way you have to set up the check layouts there's a new concept they call it electronic reporting and I'd like to have your attention here which is outside of the scope of our conversation at this time and it's a bit more advanced if I go to organization administration there's electronic reporting without having any customization using XML elements and schema you can convert series of different values into a different form and as we discussed way early 